Hi everyone, my name is Cheryl Sneddon and I'm part of the Symmetry Make team. And today I want to go over information around our post processor services. As an Autodesk reseller, we support our advanced manufacturing customers. Those advanced manufacturing customers can be using CAM solutions such as Fusion 360, Inventor CAM, Feature CAM, or Power Mill. Each of these applications can benefit from the use of a post processor. So if you're already using the applications without a post processor, then we can provide a service on how to locate and modify that post around your needs. If you already have a post processor and that needs to be modified, that could be a change in the way you use your machine, or maybe it's just not getting used to its best potential at the moment, then we can help modify that post to suit. So let's take a look inside the application and this will help us get an idea of why we would use a post processor. So if we take Fusion 360 as a CAD CAM solution and we take a look at the steps that you would take throughout that process to create the NC code, then we create and open the CAD data. We define a job set up define operations and simulate the toolpath. And the last stage that we take is to create the postcode. And to create that postcode, we need information from the post processor. Therefore, the post processor is used to gain information about the kinematics of the machine, the X, Y and Z, or A, B and C, or possibly both. So the information gathered from the post processor is then pushed into an NC code which your machine can generate information from. So if you're working with an XYZ machine or you're working with a HAS, it will depend on the controller that you use with that machine. So that controller could be a Heidenheim, it could be a FANUC, it could be a Siemens controller. And therefore the information that's gathered through the post will post out the NC code which is specific to the controller used on your machine. So if we take a look inside Fusion 360 to get an idea of how it looks. So inside Fusion we have a part and this part has already been set up. So we have a setup on the left with some toolpaths which are generating our code to cut the metal. So from here, we would go and simulate up the toolpaths to make sure there's no clashes. So we're testing out the prototype of the part, making sure the tools that we've selected are correct. There's no problems with our toolpaths. There's no problems with gouging. We've got the proper lead in and lead out information. And it's cutting as we expect to see it in real life. So once we've done the simulation, we would then look at a post processor and we would use that post processor to post out the NC code. And the good thing about Autodesk Inventor and Fusion 360 is Autodesk have already provided a library, a default library of generic posts. So let's take a look at that. So the library is already set up to allow us to filter. So on the left hand side, we can see we're in the Fusion 360 library. On the right hand side, we've got some filters. So we can filter by capability and vendor. And when we find the post processor that we want to use, we can select it and we can use the generic out of the box post, or we can make modifications to that post. And that's where our services come in. So if we right click on that post and take a copy of it and move it to our local workspace, we can see we've now got a copy of that in our local posts. So the format that the, the post comes in is a .cps file and the .cps file can be modified using Visual Studio. So if we edit this file to give you an idea of how it would look, when we make edits. So Visual Studio is a program that allows us to make changes to the post. 
the post is actually being built using JavaScript. So if you're not familiar with JavaScript, you might find it quite difficult to make changes to your own post. And therefore, we can make changes for you. You can tell us exactly what you want within the post and we can make the changes for you. So down the left hand side, I'm going to pick a criteria which allows me to test a face of function within Fusion. And when I select on the G and M codes, it takes me to the section of the post which locates that, that code. So at the bottom here, we've got an M30, which is our stop program, stop spindle, coolant off. And for instance, if you came and asked us to take that line out, then we can do that for you. We can modify the post really quickly. So just as an example, I'm going to take the line out and save the file. And you can see that the M30 is gone and we can reverse it by taking it back out and saving the file again. So these are some of the very small changes that we would make inside Visual Studio for Fusion 360 and Inventor Cam. But if you're not familiar with JavaScript, then please feel free to contact us and we can take a look at your post and make the changes as necessary. So just to recap, guys, Symmetry offer a, offer a service around post processors. We can modify your post processor. We can locate a post processor for you. And that can be for Fusion 360, Inventor Cam, PowerMill or Feature Cam. So feel free guys to, to get in contact with us. Thanks for your time.